Hey everybody, what's up? This is PJ from PJ Productions, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a sick ass background. Uh, it's kind of a ripple-ish kind of background. Uh, looks like something like this. Looks like kind of like a tunnel or whatever. Um, they come out real, real great. Um, this is my crappier version, or or a not so fine-tuned version. Um, I'm gonna be using Photoshop. Uh, mine is used for extended, but I think uh, it'll work on regular and CS3. And I'll show you uh, what I'm trying to get at. Uh, this is kind of like a nebula effect. I don't know what a nebula is. No, uh, you know the northern light effect? Um, I'll show you that in another video, for sure. And this is the aurora effect. Uh, I don't know, kind of wavy lines or something. Um, uh, that's the aurora effect, too. And what I'm going to make is something a bit like that. Um, I just made that like. Uh, two hours ago, from this to this. Um, you can make this different colors. Uh, this was a previous attempt to make something, but whatever. Um, so now I'm going to discuss on what type of pictures you can make it with. Do not get something with designs or something so small it will not work. Um, and don't get something with too much detail. Uh, something simple like this would work. Not really, I will use it. Um, I would recommend something that has a point, maybe that, a big point, which will make a, a ripple effect, like you drop water and make a ripple, whatever, and, or maybe that's big enough. Uh, I wouldn't pick that, or this, this is way too big. Um, uh, you could pick that right there. Something that has, something that's in the center, you could pick this. Or maybe pick this, because it, it, it's only two tone, or three tone, uh, it'll look alright. Um, something like that, maybe, but that's black and white, so not really. You can make that, make that the center of the ball. Uh, you can use this, make this the center right here, or that the center. This, you can make the center right here. Um, that's the type of pictures you want to use. For this, you can maybe use the R, or the E, or the D, or the F, or the V, or the whatever, 5, 4, Y, G, something, V. Um, I'm going to be using this one. Um, this is real simple, real fast, real easy. Uh, not too many steps for it. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your layer thing. And you have it like this. Uh, you want to make a new layer, Control J. Or you can hold this and drag it to new layer. Um, uh, delete that one, whatever. And if your picture you get is not real clear, is a little fuzzy, you can do filter, blur, box blur, and this will kind of like blur it out, make it smooth. But you don't want it too smooth, or else the ripple effect won't go into effect. Um, or uh, I prefer doing at the end of making the ripple effect. It kind of makes it better. So to make the ripple effect, you press filter, blur, radio blur. And what this does is, as you can see, this is the point in the picture. If you select this, it's going to be around somewhere here. Select here, it's going to be in the middle. It's going to make a ripple effect going outward. Uh, quality, best of course. Amount is like the how big the ripple ripples, how far apart. Uh, I usually set select between 60 to 80 most of the time um, this time of course I'm gonna use that and try to get it around this area right here and or what the whatever picture you're using you want to be the center it'll make a nice ripple effect you don't want it here because all the colors are just gonna be right here no colors here or here so you just press OK and it'll render the picture and yeah and there you go uh, this is what it does and I really do like this effect um, but the thing is I don't like this picture but whatever it's alright I'll use it it looks kind of like the Ubisoft I believe kind of logo uh, anyways so you have this right I don't care what picture you're using what color it is so you have this next what you want to do is hit hit new layer your new layers opened up and right here you're gonna select overlay and get a brush circular brush and select whatever brush you want and hardness zero and you might uh, want to make the brush huge bigger than the picture itself and There you go, uh, and that's about it. And then you're gonna select your first color, 
For me, I'm going to use a light green or a lime green if you want to get technical. And right in the center of the ripple, you want to just go like that, but that's just too light. So cancel that. Uh, try a little darker. There you go. Um, you can color the first layer in, whatever. And then as you go down, uh, you want to decrease the size of your brush. Uh, I'll use a light blue for the next one. And then a dark blue. You just want to keep on going outward or inward, whatever you prefer. And then select uh, kind of an off color, but you know what I mean? See, it's not too much going into the blue, just right there. And then, if you want, actually wait. And then I'm going to select white. Make it look... Oh, uh, nah. Uh, I'm going to select another off key color. Kind of make it light. There you go. Yellow is not exactly white. Looks good. I don't really like that gray spot right there. Uh, I don't know what happened with that. It's just the picture, I believe. Yeah, it's the picture like that. So I'm just going to leave it as how it is. So you get the idea. Uh, ripple effect, filter, blur, radio blur. Uh, and I forgot to tell you the amount. You can change it, like I said, center, wherever you want this. And yeah, uh, filter. I'm just going to do this for fun. Regular. Oh, I think I did it to this layer, but it actually looks better, so I recommend you do that now. Um, so now you're going to uh, right-click and merge down. And like I said, if it's too blurry, you could have done it earlier to make it more clear. Or you could do it now. Uh, I, pref I recommend doing it now. Uh, personally, to me, it looks better. You don't see these lines, which I really hate. You don't want it totally gone. Uh, just... A little like you see the lines right here and then a little bit more so I did four on this one every picture in the first um, and so yeah there you go and if you want you can make this even lighter uh, like this overlay select white and just go over this And there you go. Um, file. Save as. J J J J JPEG. Abstract. 27. Okay. Okay. No. Right click. Personalize. Desktop background. Uh, these are the other ones I made. This is using the Aurora effect. This one too. Um, the tunnel-ish one. I like this one the best. This one, second best for now. And there you go. This has been a PJ production. Remember to subscribe, rate, comment, share, favorite. Befriend me. Okay, forget that one. Uh, whatever. And subscribe and peace.